Hi everybody. So in this lesson, I'm going to do all these things together: the mean, the mode, the median, the range, the lower quartile, Q2, upper quartile, interquartile range, standard deviation, and the variance. And I'm going to do them using this example. The economics grades of 10 IB students were recorded and given below. So these are the grades. Someone got a four. Someone got a three. A three. A six. A two. A seven. A six. A three. A five. And a seven. Fine. I'm going to do. I'm going to calculate all of these things. Well as many as I can without a calculator to try and hopefully um, improve understanding. And remember, if they might make a situation where they can put in a grade, like say one of the grades is K, and they tell you the average, and then you have to find it. So it's important you know how to do it without a calculator. So A is the mean. How do I get the mean? Well, firstly, how do we write the mean? X bar, get used to seeing that, that's a way to write the mean. X bar, that's just X with a line on top of it. Or mu, that's the Greek letter mu is what we use for the mean. And what it is, is we sum these up and divide by 10, because there's 10 students. So I'm going to do 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2, 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, all over 10, which gives me um, 4 plus 3 plus 3 is 10, 16, 17, 18, 25, 31, 34, 39, 46. So it's 46 over 10, which is 4.6. Okay, great. B. Find the mode. What is the mode? The mode is the most common, the most common. So what was the most common grade in this bunch of 10? Well, two people got a seven, and three people got a three. So it's actually three. So the mode is mode equals three. Now it's three because the grade is three, not because there's three threes. I probably should have done a different number, but just be very clear, the mode is three. If there were four sevens, the mode would be seven. Um, part C, the median. Okay, to find the median, the median is the middle number. It's the um, yeah, it's going to be the middle one, but when they're arranged in order. So first, arrange them in order. So we have a two, that's the lowest, a two, and then we have a three, a three, a three. We have a four. We have one five, two sixes, two sixes, and two sevens. Okay, who's the median? Who's in the middle? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So the median is actually right here. This is the median, the median. And it's halfway between four and five. And if it's halfway between four and five, the median then is, median is 4.5 because it's, if you want to do 4 plus 5 over 2, which is 4.5, it's, it's halfway between 4 and 5. If there was a number, if if there was a number here, uh, like another 4, for example, then 4 would be the median. Um, okay, D, the range. Let's go down here. What is the range? So the range is the biggest minus the smallest. So simply 7 minus 2 equals 5. The range is 5. Easy. E the lower quartile okay so the way we get the the way we get the quartiles is if this is the median right in the middle the quartile the the lower quartile this is like halfway this is like halfway through the data the q1 is a quarter of the way through the data so i need to find a quarter of the way through the data which is actually like it's a bit like the median of these 5 to find the first quarter and it's actually going to be here He's right in the middle, because look, there's two to the left and two to the right, so this guy is Q1. And then similarly here, what's the median of these five numbers? Well, it's this one, so this guy's Q3. Now, median, I've actually put Q2 here just as a, not a trick question, but just to be clear, that you understand the median is Q2. So you have Q1, Q2 is the median, and Q3. So. E, the lower quartile, Q1 equals 3. F, Q2, that's Q1. 
q2 equals 4.5. It's the same as the median. And q3, q3 is 6. Okay, h, e, e, f, g, h. The interquartile range, i, q, r. It's the range between the quartiles. It's q3 minus q1. What's q3 minus q1? 6 minus 3, which is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. That's the interquartile range. And then standard deviation and variance. Okay, I can't get these without a calculator, or at least you don't need to know how to do it. I actually have another video where I do it without a calculator just to kind of show you how it's done because I think it's quite, I think it is quite interesting and it kind of helps you understand what they are. The standard deviation and the variance, well, certainly for variance that as the name suggests, is a way of, it's a way of, of deciding how spread out the data is. So if, if everyone got a, let's say everyone got a seven, the variance and standard deviation is actually zero because there's no spread at all. There's no spread. The, the data is not spread out. It's all at seven. But here we're going to have, well, we're definitely going to have some bit of a spread because someone got a two and someone got a seven. So I'm just going to find these with the calculator. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you how we, how we can find all the rest of them with the calculator. Or, or well, I'll at least show you what we can find. So home, I'm going to open this spreadsheet. Now, I'm going to do, well, firstly, let's just name this x. It's nice to name the column that we're going to do. So x, whatever. Or you could even call it grades. Grades. Now, I'm going to put in the numbers. You, can, you don't have to put them in order. You can just put, well, I'll put them in this order, but it doesn't have to be from smallest to biggest. So it's 4, 3, 3, 6, 2, 7, 6, three, five, seven. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to do menu, statistics, and I'm doing uh, stack calculations, and I'm doing one variable statistics, because I have one variable, and I want to see the statistics for this one variable. Press OK. The X list, I click this arrow, and it's grades. It's the grades I want. There's no frequency list, so just leave that. That's fine. And then it says results in B. Fine. It'll come in the second column. Press OK. OK. Now, what are these things? X bar, that's the mean, 4.6. That's what I got here. And you see X bar, X bar. This means the sum of X when you add them all up. Fine, but we don't need that. And the sum of X squared, I don't need this. S, X, that's... We don't use that, right? That's a way of, that's another standard deviation that we're not using. This is the standard deviation. And this is the letter sigma. So it's like sigma x. So it's 1.74356. So I'm going to write sigma equals 1.74356. That is the standard deviation. And that's, as I said, a measure of how spread the data is. Until you watch my next lesson, it's hard to explain exactly what that means, but it means there's some, there's some, definitely some kind of spread. Um, N is the number of, the number of students in this case, fine. Minimum is two, so uh, I can use, it, it doesn't give me the range, but it gives me the min and the max, so I can use that easily to find the min. The min and the max, but that look that's not that difficult to do anyway. Uh, Q1, that's my lower quartile, it's three. Median is 4.5, which I got. Q3 is six, which I got. The max is seven, which we know. This, don't worry about it, and that's it. So that's all the kind of statistics it gives you. So note, it didn't give me the interquartile range, but look, you know that's Q3 minus Q1. It didn't give me the mode, but you just have to look at which is the most common. And it didn't give me the range, but you can just do max minus min, um, and that will give you the range. Okay, that's it. Um, I, I obviously did a lot. Uh, I did a lot there, but you can see with the calculator, that's actually not that 
difficult at all. Actually, sorry, I'm not finished. I didn't do the variance. So the variance is sigma squared, and this is important. So it doesn't give me the variance here. Nowhere does it give me the variance, but the variance, it gives me the standard deviation, and the variance is just the standard deviation squared. So it's 1.74356 squared, which equals um, 1.74356. I just wanted to make sure that was correct. Um, let's go to this. So 1, 1 point seven four three five six squared is three point oh four exactly nice so the variance is three point oh four okay that's it done so yeah it doesn't give me the variance but I can calculate it by squaring the standard deviation fine it doesn't give me the interquartile range but I it, it gives me q1 and q3 and I just need to subtract them and it doesn't give me the range or the mode, but I can find out those. Yes, I'd like you to know how to do certainly A to H without a calculator.